So, kind of like yesterday. Um, now, on your assignment from yesterday, there's a problem like this, number five on your assignment. And that's why I'm showing you this, because it'll help you with number five on your assignment, right? Make sure your triangle is all the way to the, all the way to the vertex, right? Yes. So, we said we have a right triangle, and if we have a right triangle, we can find missing sides using Pythagorean theorem. I can't do perimeter yet, but I don't know these tick marks. I don't know what these are yet. Okay? So, this is half of the bottom 10, so 5, right? And then I can. So, Pythagorean theorem, we've got A, B, C. It's kind of hard to see, but A and B are the legs, 3 and 5. So, let's use Pythagorean theorem. 3 squared plus 5 squared equals, let's call this X x squared okay can you use pythagorean to figure out that missing side length All right so three squared is nine five squared is 25 nine plus 25 is 34 now 34 is not the missing side that's x squared how do i get to the squared square root right so the square root 34 is 5.83 So I'm going to label it on here. Got five. Both tick marks are going to be the same. 5.83, 5.83. Uh, the only other side I'm missing is over here. What is this going to be? This okay, so six is over here. So for perimeter, I'm going to add up all the sides. Which sides am I going to add up? Okay, so six, ten. Okay, so let's go to six, ten. Six. Now, the very top five and ten. Don't worry about that. All the edges. So this edge is five point eight three. This edge is five point eight three. These five numbers are only on the edge of the shaded figure. Those are the only ones you're going to add up. Shaded outside. So let's do that. Six plus ten plus six plus five point eight three plus five point eight three equals. And if I can add those up, I'm going to get 33.66. Okay. So, on number five on your assignment, you might have to use Pythagorean theorem to figure out a missing side length. Okay. Now, how do I find the area of the shaded figure? Because I don't have a formula for that weird shape. It looks like a part of an input, but uh, here's what it, here's my hint up here, right? You subtract the white triangle from the whole rectangle, that will give you the leftovers, which is that shaded thing, okay? So basically, if I'm going to draw it as a shape, the rectangle minus the triangle will give me the shaded shape, right? And I'm talking about area. So the area of the rectangle minus the area of the triangle gives me the sh shaded area. Now, how do I find the area of a rectangle? Does everyone know? It's length times width. What's the length and the width of the rectangle? 6 and 10, right? So, so for the rectangle, it's going to be 6 times 10, which is 60 units squared. Uh, now, for a triangle, which some people goof up, not us, how do I find the area of a triangle? Hey, base times height divided by two. Guess what people forget to do? Don't forget to divide by two. So, what's now? This is an upside down triangle. What's this whole base up here at the top? Ten. What's the height up and down here? Three. So it's going to be ten times three. Don't forget to divide by two. Ten times three is thirty. Thirty divided by two is fifteen. Now, last period I asked this and I said, what do I do with those two numbers? Someone said, Adam, please notice, this, the shading problem is different. You take away the whole thing, take away the one you know, that you find out that's not shaded, gives you the shaded. So, for my area, it's going to be 60 minus 15. It gives me 45 units squared. We don't have units on here, my bad. But there you go. So, final answer for area, 45. Final answer for perimeter, 33.6. Okay. Now, I'm giving you.
you more time to finish the assignment from yesterday, okay? But I wanted to go over your quiz from Friday. Most people did pretty well. That's good. Um, so I'm going to pass out an updated grade because you know, you know everything is due next Friday, right? Next Friday and then spring break. Woo. So if you want to know when tutoring is, every morning at 7, when's after school tutoring this week? Today with, today with Ms. Marrero. Tomorrow, both of us will be here. Thursday, I'd rather not. And then Friday, probably not. Most likely not. Okay, so again, come today or tomorrow after school, four in the morning. I get here at seven. I don't have a meeting until Thursday. Okay, just saying. Uh, okay, I'm going to pass out your grades and your progress report.